Howdy, partner. So you want to learn how to make a ramp for your dog? Well, you're in luck. We're going to show you today. Today, we're going to walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build a dog ramp to help your older or smaller dog either get into your bed or onto a couch or wherever else you need it. We're going to use some old scraps from around the garage, but you can go ahead and personalize and we'll talk a little about that. So stay tuned and we'll walk you through. Okay. Well, we have gone ahead and cut all the wood. So what we did is we just used some spare wood that we had around the garage. The only thing you really want to look at is depending on how tricky you want to make it, these are all three quarters of an inch thick with the exception of these uh, two by twos and two by fours. But this is all three quarter inch particle board and then three quarter inch plywood. So it kind of works together. Now, what we're going to do is we are actually going to wrap this entire basic ramp in some leftover carpet that we had that matches the house. So it should be real seamless and look nice, give the dog a nice grip and, you know, kind of like a cat post, which is unfortunate, but it'll, it'll look nice, I hope, in the room. Um, the other option is you get some nice wood and you could stain it, make it, you know, match your furniture. You could paint it, you could wallpaper it. You can really do anything. This is just basically a very basic uh, dog platform. So we'll look at next to bed. Now, when we measure out this one, we need our platform to be about 20 inches tall. And then there's going to be a 13 inch landing before the ramp. So it'll give the dog a place to go up and down from the bed. And we'll show you that when it's done. Just going over here, there's only seven basic pieces of wood that we're using in this product. Um, yeah, maybe eight. Okay, so you got two side pieces. The way we did it, they're both nine and three quarter inches by 20 inches. And we're gonna put it all together, you'll see. We have a ramp that's 10 and a half inches by 45 inches. We have a top platform that's 10 and a half inches by 13 inches. We have a front piece that's 13 inches by 20 inches. Then we have a ramp support that's gonna go underneath the ramp and you'll see how it does in a minute, just kind of hold that. That's why I went with a two by two, but you could use just an extra piece of particle board or plywood. And that's gonna be just a 10 inch piece, regardless of whichever piece of wood you do. Then in the back, we're gonna wrap the whole thing with carpet. The back spacer, which will make sense as we're building it, are going to be 11 and a half inches each. We use one two by four and one two by two, but again, you can use whatever you got, or you can go out to the store and actually buy brand new wood. So there's a look at everything that we have together for this project. Now we're going to go ahead and start slapping it together. Stay tuned. It's time to start assembly. So we're going to start by attaching the sides to the front of the actual box. You can use screws and pilot holes, or you can use hammer and nails. We're going to use a finishing nail or two and a half inch finish nails and a little bit of wood glue, but it's really up to you and how you want to do it. So first we want to just go ahead and apply a little bit of wood glue to our joint here. And then, so these are the side pieces. This is that front piece. It's going to be 13 by 20. So then what we're going to do is we'll make sure that we get a good spot. I'm going to put this on. And the side pieces we had accounted for the thickness of this front. That's why I said all the wood was three quarters of an inch thick. So put this here. If you are using any sort of pneumatic nailer, make sure you have your safety equipment and be careful because they can be pretty dangerous. So you're gonna put that there and we're pretty even. Tack it in. Now the nice thing about this is these don't have to be perfect because we're gonna wrap all of this in that carpet. Now if you had done this a little differently, you could have used a um, you know, paint or something else and gotten a similar effect. So I'm gonna put in a few nails. So that's the basic front of the box. We're looking pretty good. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this with some carpet and then staple it on the inside edges here. So we're gonna leave this open for now. What we're also gonna do is we're going to take this top piece, we're gonna wrap this in carpet after it's wrapped, it's gonna go on top. Once that's done, we're also gonna to have to wrap this piece and put the ramp support on. And then when everything is wrapped up, we're gonna go ahead and take these back support pieces, work them in here and nail them in where you won't see it. 
So we're going to start wrapping with some carpet. Stay tuned. Once you've assembled basically the beginning of your box, you're going to go ahead and wrap it with the carpet. So you want to make sure the carpet's long enough. We can trim a little excess off afterwards. And then you want to tightly wrap it as tight as you can. I'm using a pneumatic staple gun with the T53 inch staples, but you can use a handheld gun as well. It'll work just fine. So hold it nice and tight. Watch out for your hands. Make sure you have safety equipment. And you want to go ahead and fix that carpet down. And then you can put in some more pieces along the top. You can put in some along the side. And it should be good enough to where you shouldn't really uh, be able to see any of these staples once you get it in there. If you don't have spare carpet that you're using, you can go ahead and take a, a rug, or like I said, you could paint or stain this or whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. Then we're gonna move on to that top piece. And that top piece, we're going to wrap sort of like a Christmas present. So we're gonna get it and we're gonna get it situated. And then once we get nice and tight, we want to go ahead and start putting some staples into it. And then we want to take this and kind of turn it around, bend this over, cut it, and get it to where it is as smooth as possible. Because eventually what we're going to do is we're going to screw this on the top of here. So we'll finish this up. No coming back for assembly. Now that we finished assembling and putting all the carpet onto the panels and we wrapped them all up, now we want to put in those back spacers. So I just put this first one here in the back and you want to get it nice and flush. Again, you can use a nail or a screw. I'm going back to my two and a half inch finish nail, but be careful. And we want to fix this one in. Nice and sturdy. Then we want to go to the bottom. We want to take our other back that was again 11 and a half inches on this particular model. We're going to put it in there. And all this does is just help to hold the box square and also holds that carpet. And this is going to be the back against your bed. So you'll never see that. So be careful. Okay. Do one more on this side. All right. Now what we're going to do, so we've got a nice box. This used to be a different invention, so never mind that. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. It's probably a good time. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe in the bottom right-hand corner, and that really helps out the channel. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe. Also, likes, comments. Any questions you've got on your projects you want to see, go ahead and put them in the comment box. Thanks for watching. So we're going to go ahead and put this top on. You want to pick the best side to go forward. So look at all your corners and say, okay, which one am I most happy with? Pretty happy with this side. You're going to put it over the top here, and then you want to tap it down with a couple of these finishing nails. And then you're going to go... Okay, sorry about the air compressor turned on. So we're going to do a few finishing nails all around the sides. Just be careful that you don't have any of them jetting out outside of here. You don't want any snag points. Then we're going to lay this on its side. Think about which orientation you want, where you want the ramp coming from, whether you want it from the left or the right. We're going to do it from the left. And take that small support piece you did, sit it up here, whichever way makes the most sense. And you want it to be just below the top piece. And you're going to nail that in as well. Again, you want to have the best side facing forward. This looks good. This piece is going to take the most weight, so make sure you've got enough support in there. So we're going to finish buttoning this whole thing up, and then we'll take it on in and attach the ramp. Stay tuned. Okay, well we just finished all up. We went ahead and screwed in the ramp. Now we got the bed here, and this is all Pachi, who's our 14-year-old Chihuahua mix. So Pachi, what do you think of the new ramp? You like it? Well, he can get out of bed from it. Gotta learn how to use it. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, if you have any questions or comments on these videos, please put them in the comment box. Really appreciate you watching. Remember, with all these projects, if I can do it, you can too. Thanks for watching. Say thanks, Pachi.